Hello, my name is Robert Humphreys, and this is my patient presentation um, assignment video. Our patient is a five-year-old female with no known allergies, 19 kilograms, with a primary medical history of neuroblastoma. They are status post multiple rounds of chemotherapy and had a resection last month with minimal positive margins. This patient was admitted yesterday from IR after double lumen broviac placement. Um, and for their first of two autologous bone marrow transplants or stem cell infusions. Um, this patient will be conditioned with thiotepa and cyclophosphamide followed by mesna, and our stem cell infusion is currently scheduled for November 8th. Labs were collected yesterday prior to admission. Their CBC was, in, was within normal limits, ANC was 2800, and platelets were 180, so okay to start chemotherapy. Our electrolytes, renal function panel, and LFTs were all within normal limits. Mom reports that um, this patient has been in normal health at home with no issues and has required no PRNs since their last hospitalization. We have collected no labs today, but we will obtain a CBC, a CMP, and a liver function panel every Monday and Thursday, as well as daily UAs. Today is day one of chemotherapy, so our thiotepa will start today at around 12. Um, this patient has a, has a history of significant nausea and vomiting with chemo, so we will start IV Zofran every eight hours and IV dexamethasone daily starting today immediately prior to chemo. She also has PO Finergan as needed every six hours. Um, this can be transitioned to IV if needed. Mom. Um, has requested that we avoid IV Ativan and IV Benadryl if possible due to the patient having a paradoxical reaction to them in the past. Uh, this patient will also get a full bath with soap and water and those will continue every six hours um, until 24 hours after the last dose of Thiotepa. We will also have no occlusive dressings, no lotions, no ointments, no chapstick, and no tight clothing for this time as well and that is due to the thiotepa being excreted through the skin and it could cause um, burns essentially to the skin. Um, our other conditioning agent, cyclophosphamide, will start on day four of chemo. This cyclophosphamide will be followed by an eight hour infusion of a drug called mesna, which is used to prevent hemorrhagic cystitis. Um, antiemetics will stay as currently ordered unless changes are necessary. Um, this patient remains on IV fluids at one and a half times maintenance while receiving chemo, um, and those can be decreased 24 hours after our stem cell infusion. Um, the UAs I mentioned earlier will be sent every four hours. Um, we'll, go, we'll be transitioned from daily to every four hours once we start cyclophosphamide, and we'll continue that way until 24 hours after cyclophosphamide just to check for blood in our urine due to that risk of hemorrhagic cystitis. Um, Assessment-wise, uh, this patient's vitals have been stable and this patient has remained afebrile. Neurologically, they are intact with no deficits within normal limits. Cardiac, they are warm and well perfused within normal limits. Respiratory, they are on Rumer. Um, no history of respiratory illnesses, no asthma. Um, they are within normal limits there as well. GIGU, they currently have a regular diet ordered with good PO. No issues with nausea at this time uh, due to chemo having not been started yet. Uh, our last bowel movement was this morning, which mom reports was soft and normal. We are avoiding well, and we have a balanced INO um, net positive 150. Skin-wise, um, we are intact. There is a well-healed approximated scar along the abdomen um, from the resection and um, active alopecia from chemotherapy. Mom is at that side. Dad is involved. Um, Dad comes and visits every afternoon after work, and then he goes home to take care of their other three children every night. Access-wise, this patient has an IVAD that is not accessed, um, and then uh, the double lumen Broviac central line that was placed in IR yesterday. This Broviac can be pulled after our second stem cell infusion. Um, if the patient were to have a fever, the IVAD will need to be accessed so we can get blood cultures from it, and we will also send blood cultures from the other two lumens from the Broviac, um, and we will escalate antibiotics to Rocephin um, Q24 hours. If the patient were to be neutropenic with a fever, then that Rocephin would be meropenem and vancomycin for 24 hours, and then de-escalated to cefepime. Uh, Discharge-wise, we are unable to anticipate a current discharge date, but we will give the conditioning chemotherapy 
give our stem cell infusion, and then wait for our counts to drop and nadir, and then recover. So we are anticipating four to six weeks from now pending bone marrow recovery. We will start daily Nupagen or GCSF um, on day zero, on the day of stem cell infusion to help with that uh, bone marrow recovery. Other medications that we are on are Actigol, which is for liver protection and for the prevention of VOD um, due to our high dose of chemotherapy that we're receiving. Um, we are on acyclovir, which is our antiviral prophylaxis due to neutropenia having a risk of um, HSV reactivation. We are on Diflucan for antifungal prophylaxis, and we are on, Le we are on Levaquin for antibacterial prophylaxis. And as mentioned before, if we have a fever, that Levaquin would be escalated to um, Rocephin or Meropenamin bank, depending on the patient's ANC at that time. Um, Patient should be doing oral care three times a day with normal saline rinses um, and brushing her teeth. If unable to tolerate brushing teeth due to bleeding gums due to low platelets, we can just use oral swabs. Um, and yeah, um, as far as the plan goes for the rest of the day, um, it's mostly just the chemotherapy and the antiemetics as previously spoken. Um, down the line, we anticipate there to be a significant amount of mucositis from the chemotherapy. So um, PRN pain medication may be ordered at that time. However, none is ordered currently. Um, and the patient is currently eating great, but it, we also anticipate TPN lipids being initiated at some point. But as again, it is not at this time. Um, any updates, the nurses can call us directly. And that's it.